fun part of talking to marketers is learning the new jargons. At least two we picked <laughs> up from you, WWE and P2P. There's three things which are very, very important in today's after the learning which has happened, which is WWE. It has nothing to do with fighting. It has nothing to do with it is Wi-Fi, your wife and your education. And you know, till the time men started washing dishes, they never realized that, you know, there is a product like dishwasher that can, you know, simplify life. All the four P's, the traditional four P's have actually gone out of the window. And what has actually replaced them with the four P's is, is your platform, your process, your people and your priorities. Everything means everything in your marketing has to shift to digital. Whether it is the way you give the information, the way you conduct your demonstration, which has to happen. Welcome to ET Catalyze Virtual, the consumer goods special. Today, we have with us Satish from Hire, Shirish from Panasonic, and Amit from Havels. In the last four months, when COVID hit us, the consumer goods special industry actually lost a big opportunity because that was the peak period, the month of April and May, when yeah. people buy refrigerators and air conditioners. How did you and your company deal with this? What are the key changes that you had to make quickly? See, uh, fundamentally, when you look at it, the uh, consumer behavior is completely changed. One is some changes which probably are linked to this pandemic, which would change once this pandemic goes on. Second one is there were some changes which were already happening and which was accelerated by this uh, pandemic. And the third one is this there are some habits which people had probably that changed. Now, coming back to the first one is like because of the social distancing, earlier people were used to shopping is like, it was a, uh, you know, entertainment kind of a thing. So people used to go love shopping, spending time in the shop floor, uh, exploring the product. So that completely changed now. Okay, that's the fundamental change which has happened. Second changes is like in terms of acceleration, the way people were consuming the information or completely it's become digital and the channel changes like people would go to an offline store probably the large format store even if it is five ten kilometers away they used to go now people with this pandemic they're much more worried about their health and this one so probably they're looking more from an e-commerce perspective then they don't mind buying from a local channel which is uh, local shops which are available so this is a change which is accelerated now the third one is the habitual changes like do it yourself. Like if you see, probably most of them, men folk in the house, were not into the household chorus. Okay, now today most of us got into this one. So when you're doing it, probably you want the best thing to be with you to do it. Now the second aspect is as a marketing team, when we look at it, like what were the avenues which were available for us? There was a print media, there was a digital media, there was a television media which were available. Now print, absolutely, in most of the metro cities, it's not, most of the societies are not even allowing the print to come. So print is not there. Okay, the uh, TV, none of the live events are happening. All the uh, channels are only broadcasting their old, old repeat programs. And the third aspect is like outdoor, you don't have any choice. Now the question is everything has to shift to digital. Everything means everything in your marketing has to shift to digital, whether it is the way you give the information, the way you conduct your demonstration, which has to happen. So we had to, in this lock, lockdown period, we had to completely revamp our entire digital strategy. Uh, within a span of two to two, three months, we had to get everything ready. Now, these are the medium which was available. Look at the last part is the pre-purchase thing has changed from the consumer mind. The purchase pattern has changed and the post-purchase also it has changed. So you need to address all these three points. The pre-purchase is like earlier used to go again to the shops and buy. Now today, how do you pass on the information or how you are relevant in his mind through the right channel with through the digital? So because he's setting it home and searching for all his information. That's the pre-purchase. Uh, purchase is earlier from a shop floor used to buy. Now today, you don't know where e-commerce you might buy from a local shop. Suddenly we have seen a change our distribution width has gone up. Distribution contribution has gone up. Even the smaller shops, 
uh, which were probably we were assuming that with the e-commerce advent and the large format showroom coming in, the smaller guys will have a tough time. But suddenly they have revived themselves because the customer doesn't mind paying about 500 rupees, 1000 rupees more, probably buying from a neighborhood store. So that purchase pattern is the, the best or the most interesting part is the post purchase. We used to have most of our products are demonstrable, like people buying an AC, people buying a television or buying a refrigerator. We have to get the demonstration being done. Now, how do you do? Because the so, few societies were not allowing. Getting the delivery itself was an issue. And then after delivery, how do you do? So we had to change our, we had to make a lot of videos, self-assisting videos to the customer so that he at his own convenience. And we set up our service department where we started giving the video demonstration, live video demonstration for a customer. Okay, if he's having an issue, okay, please call up this number, register yourself, then our guy will call up on the video call then assist them in terms of every product feature, how they have to do, if they have to do some troubleshooting. So all these things probably, it's a definitely it is a challenging thing. We are learning and then inventing uh, new, new things, ways to touch base with the customer. So that was... If I can come to you, Amit, uh, so I noticed yesterday when I went on the Havels website, you promptly, you know, show a pop-up that gives a WhatsApp number and all the details. So there's a clear digital outreach to the customer directly if you know he or she comes on your website what triggered that follow what has happened is it, it is not about that uh, digital is automatically coming to part of it digital from a medium it has actually become a part of life so digital is no more a medium it's a part of life and when we actually saw this we saw that that there is a lot of things that are actually moving i'll tell you an example so one of the regional retail chains in mp madhya pradesh there's a regional retail chain called lotus and what the guys do, I saw their Danik Bhaskar and Rajasthan Patrick and the leading newspaper there, they started advertising half pages and quarter pages, only giving the WhatsApp numbers and name of the people who are actually there in that particular store, which clearly says the message, you don't have to come to our store, just reach out to these people, they will help you with all the needs that you have. And in one particular day, when I checked back and what is the amount of response, around close to 8,000 people in Key leading markets have actually approached uh, these guys in terms of this is what my need. Somebody have an AC, somebody has got a jar in the problem with the mixer grinder. Basic need, but they were trying to fulfill just by reaching to them. So the biggest learning that has actually, and just on a, on a one of the lighter notes, I was attending one of the sessions uh, in Singapore uh, on the uh, marketing uh, itself. It's a it's a marketing symposium which is happening, which says three things which are very very important in today's after the learning which has happened, which is WWE. It has nothing to do with you know, fighting. It has nothing to do with it is. Uh, it is your basically three things, which is Wi-Fi, your wife and your education. These are the three things much more important. Why it is important today? Because people are not dependent on whether I can pay my mobile bills or not. I'm not interested. If I have a Wi-Fi, I can do things. And what Satish also touched is education. It's all about right from the entire consumer decision journey today has transformed into a consumer digital journey. Because today it is no more a decision which says ki purchase and post purchase. I think that's for that's a very classical way of looking at it. And COVID has actually changed and made most of the marketers and consumers to think beyond that post uh, what has happened in the traditional form of it. And how it is actually happening is your consumer is retooling, your consumer is is rebooting. You yourself has to reskill. Today, when you talk about the frontliners and you talk about the people, most of the people don't even aware about to talk about terminology, whether whether it is the leads are coming, the leads are not happening, who is coming, what online to offline. It is it has not been that matured from a marketing and a sales conversation that you actually do. One fundamental shift that has happened is there is no B2B and there is no B2C. There is only one thing which is P2P. It's all people to people. That's all in our particular mind, which is of marketers and all in particular mind that this is a B2B audience. The end of the day, you're only dealing with people. And that's the biggest learning which COVID has actually made everybody boss here. You have to first satisfy to the people, the audiences, the community that you're actually targeting. One part of talking to marketers is learning the new jargons. At least two we picked <laughs> up from you, WWE and P2P. So, I mean, for me, P2P was peer to peer, but you paired it people to people and that's a good new learning. Thanks for that. Uh, Shirish, if I can come to you, in your experience uh, dealing with COVID and the way you and your brand sort of worked at it, what were the key learnings? We had two choices. First choice was that since markets are shut, consumers are not buying, shall we stay mum, not do anything about it? We, we decided to go the other way. Actually, we, we thought, okay, what if budgets are not there, but that does not stop us from you know, engaging with our consumers. 
you know so what happened that this actually made us think of innovative ways to you know start engaging with customers while still staying relevant and you know authentic to you know our brand promise and philosophy so what we did was that we started spending time on social platform you know people had enough time in their hand they were at home and they were you know on digital platform uh, you know doing engagement because while people were maintaining social distancing but you know digital as a platform helped them you know uh, bringing this community together you know there were there were a lot of you know post going out on social platforms people were sharing the stories videos and everything okay so we thought let's spend time and listen to what consumers are talking about okay when we started focusing we realized that you know the first and foremost issue that came up from consumers and were that moment this lockdown got announced they were worried about what about my warranty my warranty is expiring in april you guys can't come and service me i should not be you know bearing that particular cost so what should we do about it so we understood and there was lot many such complaints coming so what we did the first thing we did we went and we communicated that any warranty that is expiring due to this you know period of lockdown we are extending them for additional 15 20 days and we went and we communicated that likewise when we kept focusing the second biggest problem that consumers started facing was that you know summers are picking up i have to switch on my ac you know i had to get my refrigerator service what are you doing about that you know how can i get my product service so what we did we shot very simple diy videos with our service engineers you know from their home and we started you know uh, responding to consumers through those videos which was a great help you know and like satish mentioned we also started providing uh, you know video call assistance to consumers and all this setup was done in no time the third when the market started opening slowly slowly you know from 5th of may uh, what happened that there was a demand for the product people wanted to buy products and all uh, but uh, you know economically there was a lot of uncertainty people were not you know getting business monies were not getting generated salaries were not coming on time so they were reluctant whether i should be spending the entire amount in one go or not so what we did we came up with long term financial schemes we came up with zero uh, interest emis you know special emi schemes keeping in mind you know because we wanted to tell consumers that we are there to share your financial burden okay so this was the third step that we took the fourth step which was very interesting you know when consumers walked into the store or when they were buying online the first and foremost thing uh, the doubt that they had in mind is while i'm buying this today will you be able to deliver it tomorrow day after what if the lockdown gets announced because you know things were changing so fast today lockdown opens tomorrow again there is a lockdown right so what we did we we again you know uh, fix our internal processes systems and multiple teams were involved uh, we we came up with same day installation policy you know so we told consumers if you are buying a product today it's our responsibility to you know install this product on the same day so that you know there is no uncertainty that's a big assurance that's that that immediately reposes trust and faith absolutely and we went ahead and communicated through our social platforms only uh, because uh, the budgets were not there but we identified that it does not stop us from engaging with our consumers so these are the three four steps that we immediately took you know moment we covid got announced yeah right uh, sadish if i can come to you you know people often talk about the four p's of marketing do you think covid and digitization disrupted all the p's and there's something new coming up on the horizon yes definitely see uh, i would say uh, everybody has to change uh, your of course starting from your product uh, probably okay it may not happen overnight but uh, if if this uh, covid is here to stay uh you know till the next vaccine comes on this one so companies have to focus on product which are more hygienic more convenient more this one so somewhere they have to bring that thing okay that's one thing of course pricings are going to get revamped because all our revenues were linked to this one so obviously there's going to be some change promotion yes definitely there will be a change which has to happen you can never be the same promotion what uh, you were doing like for example what series uh, was saying uh probably the consumer finance could uh, become uh, bigger uh, promotion kind of a thing which will happen no more that you know along with this this gift and that gift probably that may not work on this one and uh, the way we are advertising or the way we need to uh, communicate this thing will completely change uh, i mean in terms of uh, probably now it is more of a digital how you would you hold on to your own customers and how would you uh go after the customers who are looking for the category and how would you look for the com- uh, customer who are looking for the other brands and how focused and how targeted are you and how targeted or is you going to be your digital marketing 
that's what will probably decide uh, the brands which will move ahead and the brands which are going brands which are going to get stuck and then probably will be which will stay behind but definitely i mean it's an opportunity market i would look at as a brand what we are looking at as a uh, probably durable is the least impacted uh, uh, segment which i would probably say after the, the grocery segment because people are spending more time at home so as a marketer what we need to look at is probably classify or segment your house into three areas one is your kitchen the other one is a living room third one is your bedroom so each of this thing needs to be addressed in a different way like how can i uh, make the uh, kitchen much more convenient much more fast and then how because now it is everything is about do it yourself you know no more maids probably people would try to avoid maids so it has to be much more convenient same way your living room now the tvs are becoming larger and larger okay so probably because people are spending more time so uh, they would want to have a this one and then how uh, your how will you link your iot enabled products into this one to make your living room much more comfortable and convenient and same way how would you make your bedroom uh, much more like how would you bring in the internet of things which will make your bedroom a, a, a convenient place for you to live in because the average time spent by an average individual has gone up probably earlier we used to spend more time at outside now probably 20 hours people are spending at home and probably 2 3 hours depending on this one people are spending so i think uh, the entire answering to your question of entire 4p is completely redefined for sure all the four p's the traditional four p's have actually gone out of the window and what has actually replaced them with the four p's is, is your platform your process your people and your priorities that has actually changed the entire thing it doesn't go all together today and when i mean platform what platform that you're actually trying to open is it an e-commerce it's your own particular site that you're actually trying to do what are the priorities a consumer and you are said you can't put all the eggs in the same basket after this particular black swan event you can't put all the bar, eggs in the same basket what priorities as a marketer keeping in mind what the consumer decision journeys are actually trying to move uh, need to look for how about with the people it's not about the people about only the consumer that I talk about your own particular entire staff whether it is your service team whether it's your own staff how you are able to try and redefine them because they are also become obsolete in the entire scheme of things that has happened and most important it's process because without process you're not able to achieve the rest of the three to look for now talking about the iot i think iot is a is a is a fabulous uh, actually invention to look for or the new era that has actually started today and i'll tell you a case on uh, and one of the so we did we do a very uh, exhaustive consumer uh, research every time is consumer passport program so everybody in the organization right from the managing director to the management trainee has to actually go and visit two consumers in the actual time now virtually you actually go and spend time with two consumers per month and we fix up a proper time there's a moderator who actually does it and then you get insights about that around 87% of the consumers talks about that the feature of you can actually use your particular ac on the mobile is the best feature that can actually use through iot why it actually happens because if i take 15 minutes to reach to my home when i reach home i don't have to start and wait for the ac to get start cooling by the time i reach I actually been uh, my ac in the room is absolutely at the temperature which i really wanted to and today coming to most of the appliances today people really are looking for something that can be used from one of the most used gadgets in your particular hand which is your mobile and one of the researches which just uh, came out some few days back in india uh, a normal individual who uses his mobile uh, almost around 12, 13 hours in a day sees the screen 221 times you don't even see your wife's face at that point of time or girlfriend face at that point of time but that's the level of interaction that you have with this device and what is giving you it is giving you the power to run your appliances the safety is one of the there are a lot of so safety locks which are actually there on the mobiles to look for and it is all driven through iot and i think the way, there are various researches that are actually going across the global markets and in indian markets is talk about where you can actually remove without removing your traditional products you can actually inbuild the feature of iot within the same particular products that you are actually using because it it is not the market is not a company is not the organization is not the brands who are actually changing it is the demand and the use cases which are actually coming from the consumer because they feel the power of that particular usage to bring it in the february we launched our iot platform by the name mirai uh, mirai basically a compound of two japanese word first is mirai which spells m i r a i uh, which means future in japanese and the last two 
letters ie which is ie means home in japanese so we uh, made a combination which means future homes you know that's that's a platform we launched and when we announced uh, the launch in the month of february we had certain product range uh, starting from air conditioners to lights to fans video door phones uh, available under the iot platform uh, and in fact our campaign the air conditioner campaign was based on this iot functionality completely you know and very soon we'll be adding more devices under our mirai platform in the same year okay now what is the objective why brands are doing this you know the ultimately the all brands objective is to make their consumers life as simple as possible you know there was always a latent demand uh, you know when it comes to consumer durables what has happened is that since all of us were confined to our homes and with almost limited or no domestic help you know what happened that this demand actually became need uh, because all of us as a consumers were actually looking at appliances that can help us multitask you know that can ease our life or uh, you know I mean, primarily, you know, that can probably uh, keep us entertained. So, what has happened is that earlier, when people were buying a 32-inch or a 42-inch television, now suddenly they realize that you know, I have to buy a bigger size television. Of late, we have seen that consumers are buying a big, heavy loaded refrigerator, 50, uh, 550 liters and above. Uh, okay, uh, people are buying fully automatic washing machines. Uh, people are buying more microwave ovens. Reason being, they are cooking more at home than ever before, right? And, and like we were having a discussion earlier, we were in offline discussion where Satish mentioned about you know uh, uh, the uh, dishwashers. You know, it took men to enter the kitchen to realize that dishwasher is actually very important. You know, till the time men started washing dishes, they never realized that you know there is a product like dishwasher that can say you know simplify life. Uh, so if the endeavor is to make consumers' life simpler, I think we are heading towards the right direction, and we will see more and more smart devices coming in the future. Did the tier three, tier four towns also? you know change their buying habits so for instance like you said talked about the dishwasher which even in tier one towns they weren't but did the fully automatic machines with you know start selling more in the tier 3 tier 4 towns did they upgrade themselves no see definitely the reach penetration of the market, uh, products in the up country market is still a question mark it's a huge okay yes the phenomenon of a uh, dishwasher or this one is probably i would say it's still a metro centric it's a very small niche segment okay that's what as i said this are all in the washing washing machine washing uh, machine yes definitely washing machine we are seeing even in the tier 2 tier 3 market washing machine demand has gone up and the large screen television that demand has gone up because people are spending more time and one of the factor which is really helping us is this online courses which are happening so most of the people would prefer to uh, use their mobile and cast their uh, this one on their large screen and make this to uh, you know kids to see in a large screen so i think tier 2 tier 3 market the uh, products like washing machine refrigerator the larger refrigerators and larger television would so however the new innovative product probably it would take a lot of time for them to because the penetration itself is quite low and the, and and the question of affordability comes in their basic essential needs are not met right now probably this is a luxury item for them now i come to the last and final round of the show we call it the rapid fire round we'll have quick questions and all we expect is quick one line or at best one word answers one adjective you would use to define the indian consumer post covid digital digital and only digital tech savvy tech savvy yeah he is a new consumer you have to understand him and then read through his mind right now one word for online or digital marketing that comes to your mind post covid most sorry most important touch point when it comes to you know consumer journey right amit o2 it's online to offline Okay, Satish. Be focused and be clear on your where you are targeting. One skill that young marketers you think should definitely have. So the mark the new definition of marketing is no more marketing. It is mark tech, which is marketing and technology. So if you are a marketer, learn technology, and if you are a technologist, learn marketing. Satish. Uh, for the new guys, uh, put a new lens. Uh, the consumer behavior has completely changed probably what we have studied in our books is completely changed and the new consumer behavior is there 
until unless you don't understand this new consumer behavior probably you could go wrong in every aspect of whatever decision making you're making right. shirish i think if i have to sum summarize in one word adaptability i think today's market needs to be adaptable to fast changing you know customer needs right. and you know the approach here my last and final question and i'll start with you satish skill set that you personally picked up during the lockdown period understanding digital marketing in depth and how would you go in terms of deeply focusing on the customer whom you want to attack amit rebooting myself i think whatever i've done for last two decades this is the time that i actually do a reflection and do a rebooting of myself shirish i think on a personal level i have started writing more so what i have started doing is uh, uh, i have started relooking the experiences that i have had in a marketing domain i've started writing more so i'm writing blogs on my linkedin handle these days yeah you're penning your lockdown yeah. journey yeah absolutely thanks everyone whenever you watch this series mail us or etcatalyze at timesinternet.in you can watch all our past episodes and future episodes on etcatalyze.com 